Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between bringing home a puppy, an adolescent, or a senior dog as your perfect pet. My name is Sarah Surrett with Get Positive Dog Training. Let's dive in. So bringing home a puppy, as we all know, is so rewarding. However, it's like bringing home a new child, a lot of enjoyment, but a ton of work. But the nice thing is, is that you have control of that early socialization, you have no baggage, and you get to shape and mold your dog's um, overall personality and confidence, which I love. You get to take all of those puppy pictures and really dive into looking at how you want to train this puppy and what you want this puppy to do long term. So the puppies are great, but you do have to deal with the potty training, the puppy antics, the chewing, the nipping, the digging, the barking. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of work, but it's quite rewarding. If you are looking at maybe getting out of the puppy phase and you might want a little bit of an older dog, you might consider bringing home an adolescent. Usually the adolescent's uh, years are anywhere from maybe six to eight months. I usually say around eight months up to maybe about 18 months to two years. We consider these the teenage years. And if you have had a teenager or you can remember when you were a teenager, Oh boy, there's lots of lots of attitudes sometimes, right? A lot of learning, a lot of growing, a lot of changing. And this is what we get when you bring, uh, when you have a, an adolescent dog. Um, you kind of ask yourself, wait, where did my puppy go? And what happened to all the things I taught him? <laughs> so when you have an adolescent, you know, you hit this new phase of life, this new ball of energy and uh, no longer dealing possibly with those potty training issues, but maybe a new set of behavior problems where you need to do some training. And as I mentioned, and always recommend, training never stops. It's kind of this ongoing process of management, prevention, while continuing to teach what you do want from your dog. So if you are interested in having your dog a little bit longer, but yet you don't wanna deal with all the potty training and, the, and being around your dog 24 seven as a very young puppy, um, and you want a little bit more freedom, then bringing home a little bit of an older dog might be the best fit for you. Now we're gonna jump all the way to a senior dog. Oh, I love it when I hear my clients have just rescued or brought home a senior dog because there are so many senior dogs in the shelter. Now, the definition of a senior dog really depends on the size, type of breed, um, but it can, for the smaller dogs, it can be 10, 11 years old and on. Um, for the larger dogs, it can be maybe around eight years of age. So what's great about rescuing or bringing home a senior dog is that you know a little, most likely, you're gonna know a little bit more about their history. Um, their temperament is really set in place. Um, yes, you can teach an old dog new tricks, but the, the learning history is gonna be a little bit more um, set in stone. And so if they do have some behavioral issues and undesirable things that are happening, it, it, you know, it may take a little bit more time to train, train them new things. But for the benefit side of things, you're gonna, you get what you see, right? And they're on the flip side, not going to need probably quite as much interaction or energy if they are on the older side because they just don't have that energy. So they're not going to need as many long walks. Um, so this is another thing to consider on what you are looking for. What's your lifestyle? What are you looking for in a dog? If you are out and active, then you might want that puppy. If you are home and more sedentary, then you might want a senior dog. The only other thing that I will say though with a senior dog is you may not have your dog around quite as long, you know? And if you want to have that dog for several more years, then depending on the age of that senior dog, you might consider a younger dog that's just entering his senior years. Uh, the other thing is that there may be some health issues that your dog has is dealing with. So you may have to take on some medicine um, and some things to be dealing with proactively to help your dog um, with his health issues. Um, the things with 
uh, the senior dogs as well is that they've been trained for the most part. And so now it's just more management. They're going to probably get along with more people. They're gonna have more confidence. But again, this isn't every dog. Every dog is different. And through your interaction with your new dog, you will see what is possible and what areas you need to work on. So not all dogs are the same. Not There's not one recipe for every dog. So we wanna consider what you want, what you want a dog for, and decide which age is going to be appropriate for you. And then go take a look at whether you want to find a dog from a local breeder that maybe has been living with them for a while or a local rescue. And be sure to take a peek at those videos if you haven't already to hear about the pros and cons of bringing home a rescue dog or going direct to a breeder. I hope this video was helpful and I can't wait to hear what age dog you decide to bring home for your perfect pet. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.